day. If you're new here, my name is Jenna and I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos. So if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. For today's video, I'm going to take you through my entire work from home day. I usually show you my life before work and after work to show you how I kind of prioritize my personal life with my work life. But today is all about my work life. If you don't know, I work completely from home as a government contracts consultant. It's your typical like nine to five, but definitely work more than nine to five. I don't really know what else to say about my job. I'm gonna take you through my work day and what I do to stay productive during the work day. And yeah, it is 8.30 and if you guys have been watching my videos, I already went through my whole morning routine. I had a really good workout. I did a Rachel's Good Eats Instagram Live, her most recent full body sculpt. And then I finished with Whitney Simmons abs that she posted on her Instagram, maybe like around March. And then I made my morning coffee. Today we're having a hazelnut Nespresso pod. And then I bullet journaled a little bit too. For those of you who don't know, I have a bullet journal and this is kind of another one of my creative outlets outside of work and just how I prioritize my personal life. If you watched last week's morning in my life vlog, you saw me make this spread actually. So, yeah, so I just spent the majority of my morning filling in my trackers and checking in with myself. Here's how the mood tracker is looking. It's looking pretty cool. I have a lot of videos already about my morning routines, so if you want to know everything that I usually do before work, I'll link those videos for you. We did our morning routine, and now we're going to start work at around 8.30. It's kind of when I typically log on. Actually, you know, let me show you my, let me show you my work from home setup. So here is my desk where I work completely from home. I made this chair in a vlog a couple weeks ago with you guys. So here's how it looks. It's holding up pretty well. And I bought a new desk actually that is gonna be coming in the mail, I think today or tomorrow. But this is just from home. I like keep all my makeup in here. We're gonna get a new desk soon. And this is my work from home setup. I just have this mouse pad from Amazon, this wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, notepad to write notes. And then I have an external monitor that I got from Best Buy a couple months ago and my laptop and this laptop stand is from Amazon. I really like having a laptop stand because now both screens are kind of on the same eye level. So I'm not slouching down as much. My desk is right in front of my window because I like to be able to look outside the window as I'm working. And yeah, here's my, here's my little work from home setup. In terms of what's on the agenda for today at work, I'm going to just log on and check my emails and prepare for the day. And yeah, I can't really tell you much about my projects because of confidentiality reasons, but I'll just take you through what I'm doing. I'll show you me working. Also today's work from home outfit. You guys know that I like to wear something comfy, but something that makes me feel like I can still be reductive. So I'm wearing this really, really cute tie dye crew neck. This is the Whitney Simmons merch that she released. I think it was in the spring or over the summer but it's like my favorite thing it just makes me happy to wear it it says it's a beautiful day to be alive which is like her trademark it's tie-dye and just makes me feel happy when I wear it so that's what we're wearing today and then I'm wearing um, just plain black leggings with it and some fuzzy socks I don't usually wear like business casual because my company doesn't require us unless maybe we're working with a client or have a client call. I like to still wear something comfortable but also something that makes me feel good enough that I can be productive. So this is why we're wearing our tie-dye corded purse today. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, daily morning check-in that our practice has. We just kind of have that morning check-in call to just see each other's faces. We would all like to be in the office, but we started doing these when we first started working from home and it really helped just to be able to see everyone's face or just hear everyone's voice, just knowing that we're all coming together three times a week. So that was our morning check-in call. I usually deliver shout outs to people who submit for other people in our practice. So Tim got our shout out this morning. Yeah, so I actually Actually do have some project work today so we'll be doing that all day but let's just start our work day something I really like doing to kind of kickstart my productivity when I'm working from home in the morning is putting on a podcast 
or some music. When it comes to music, I go back and forth between music that I can like sing along to and music that is strictly background music, like classical music or I like listening to lo-fi. This morning, since it's Monday, I especially like listening to podcasts and so I was in the middle of listening to The Bachelorette's Ben episode because I'm very invested in The Bachelorette, but I think, okay, this is probably my favorite podcast. It's the We Bought a House with Claudia Slusky and Phineas and they just released their 29th episode today so we're gonna listen to that it's 53 minutes Claudia Saluski used to be like, and still probably is one of my favorite YouTubers, and I'm obsessed with Phineas. So the fact that they have a podcast together, they're two of like my favorite people, and I just love listening to them in the mornings. I love also listening to just couples bigger and talk and talk about even the stupidest things. I just think having that on in the background as I'm working is a really great way to start off the day, and their podcasts are usually around an hour, so you just kick off your first hour by listening to a podcast. So... We're gonna do that now. Looking from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Let me turn behind the moon, tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. Okay, it's around 11 o'clock. We're gonna take a quick break to make some breakfast. Making food is obviously the easiest break that you can take from work and for me when I take my break to make food just completely step away from the computer. I go on away on my teams and I write down what I need to do when I come back so that when I sit down it's already ready and it's already clear. When I'm done eating and I come back to the computer I feel refreshed to get back to work and be productive. It just kind of helps you compartmentalize your work brain so when I am making food I'm not thinking oh well, what do I have to do when I'm making food and I'm enjoying it, I actually get a break and you just feel more refreshed coming back after your meals. I hope that makes sense, but we're gonna make some breakfast. Feeling like Pluto, you already knew though. I'm hiding just behind the stars, but how come the stars don't shine when it's day? How come the sky at night makes me this way? Why are you so far away? I also have my mom's famous chocolate chip walnut banana bread too. Okay, so for our breakfast we have a small breakfast sandwich, it's two pieces of turkey bacon and egg and some mozzarella cheese and then I have these pan fried grape tomatoes which I love having on the side for breakfast for some reason, I don't know why. Really good. I want to film more workday in the life vlogs for you guys but there's really only so much I can show you in terms of like what my actual work is just because I'm in consulting. My client work is all confidential and everything so I don't really know exactly what you would want to see for a work from home full-time day in the life but if you want to see more of these videos I'm happy to film them. Just let me know what exactly you want to see in them. Most of my work from home videos are what I eat in a day is just so that I'm not boring you with my work from home content. I don't know what you guys would want to see, but I'm sure a lot of you are starting your full-time job and if you clicked on this video, then you're working in corporate. So and everything's all weird virtually. So just let me know what you want to watch and what you'd like to know from me. We got some jingle jangle as a snack for the rest of the day. And yeah, it's just, it's time to get back to work. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that the new hires for my company started last week. So my friend Molly and I are hosting a training for them today at 2.30. So we spend 12 to 1 just prepping for that and talking with the manager about how we can make the presentation good. And then I took around like a five minute break and I just kind of scrolled on my phone because realistically that's what I do after my Zoom calls. I just... I get so tired from being on for Zoom that I just need a break. So I just had a quick five minute break and then I went straight back to work. In the afternoons especially, I like to put in my AirPods because, or just any headphones, they don't have to be AirPods, but once like lunch time hits and it's around peak midday of the workday, I like to put in my headphones because it kind of helps me just stay productive and feel more in the zone when you've already been working for like four-ish hours. When there's no one around and you're just kind of stuck with you and your work, feeling kind of 
locked into it with headphones helps me a lot. And yeah, it's 1.30 and kind of want some coffee before I do this training at 2.30. So let's go make some afternoon coffee. It's a bad habit, but like it's really, it's fine. I feel productive, but I'm definitely like, I have my headphones in, I need to feel in the zone and I need coffee to like wake me up. So that's what we're gonna do. just trained the new hires and it is now 3 30. I have to like close my blinds as the day goes by because I my room gets the direct sunlight so it's kind of it's a love and hate thing because I love staring out my window but I have to close the blinds as the day goes by. It's actually like 3 25 so we're gonna take a quick five minute break and just recoup. I want another snack so let's go get something to eat. <laughs> forgot how much I love whipped cream. Having a snack that makes you happy midday definitely helps you get through the rest of the day. So I know some people like to go on walks during the workday to get their break in. But for me personally, the most I really like to do is just walk outside on my balcony and get a couple moments of fresh air. I don't really like to take long breaks during the day just because I want to stay productive the whole day and still have my evening to myself so I'm not working too late making up for the time that I took all those breaks. So that's just my personal preference. Now we're just gonna work for the rest of the day. It's 3.35, I'm gonna see how long I can be productive for without any breaks, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's, it's actually like 6 30 it's okay it's actually like 6 45 and my company actually does we meet three times a week to talk about diversity and inclusion within our practice and just current events so we had that meeting from 5 30 to 6 30 and then i caught up with my friend afterwards so i just wanted to check in with you guys i know i showed a little bit of me in my zoom calls but i honestly feel like this vlog is gonna be like so boring but i don't know if you guys are gonna like it but realistically this this was this was my work day and I want to finish up some work still because just because it's after five doesn't mean that I'm done work. I'm done work when I feel like my work for my clients has been productively done. So I'm not there yet, but that's okay. I talked about some really important things and it's important for your company to talk about diversity and inclusion as well. I was drinking a glass of wine at least, so at least you do something fun after five, right? <laughs> Let's just finish up our work day and finish it together. Okay guys, it is, it's 7.15, but you know what? Not every single day is like this at work. That's just what happens sometimes when you're working a full-time corporate consulting job. Sometimes you get off at five and sometimes you get off at 7.15. And honestly, I just had a lot of meetings today, training the new hires and doing a diversity and inclusion meeting that just so happens that it's a later day, but I didn't plan for this. I didn't realize that I was gonna have a later day, but this was just what my typical workday was like. My workday's over. Here's our last step to our workday. We're turning everything off. And this is us mentally leaving from our work from home life. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I honestly feel like it wasn't really that fun to watch. You just kind of watched me be on my computer all day and take like very minimal breaks. But if you wanna see more work day in the life videos, just let me know and let me know specifically what you would wanna see. If there's anything like about a certain aspect of my work day that you wanna see, let me know. And I'm happy to do that for you. But 
yeah, I'm just gonna go make dinner and enjoy time spent with my roommates and my neighbors. It's Vlogmas, so you'll see new videos from me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday leading up until Christmas. I can't believe we're on week three. That's kind of crazy, but I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas this year, my first year doing it, and I'll see you in Friday's video, but until then, I miss you already. Thank you.